What is up, beautiful people of the internet? I go by the name of Wesley, and today we are reacting to the Odd Ones Out music, Good Person featuring Rumi. I'm stoked. The Odd One Out has a surprising amount of social commentary that goes into the music. I guess it shouldn't be surprising because he's obviously a smart guy from his animations. He's funny. But that being said, subscribe down below for more reactions, and let's hit it, and let's see what kind of message we've got in this one. This is intense. 420. Supermarket. Gonna cop some rhubarb. Hold up, back it up. Why does the clerk, why is the clerk dressed like a blood? <laughs> I've only ever seen people who wear like pe red paisleys. Everybody I've seen wear red paisley clothing was literally in the street gang, the bloods. So what? I don't know what, what your sh grocery store you're shopping at, but make sure they come correct. The supermarket, gonna cop some rhubarb. Ooh. I reach into my pocket, it's time to get charged. I'm paying cash and I know what happens next to strange. I think Joel's I in the gang, guys. Say, you can keep the change. Oh, what? Oh yeah, I'm a good person. You <laughs> Sitting by my computer, mom comes inside the lair. It's smelling like a sewer. You should go get some air. I'm getting up and stretch, I'm filling up with pride. I open up the door and put a single foot outside. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, I'm a good person. I leave my house so no Everybody in the pandemic right now is just feeling immensely targeted. It's like, yo, okay, I haven't left the house for three or four days. It doesn't mean I'm a bad person, odd ones. It doesn't mean anything, odd ones. I'm just introverted, odd ones, okay? Okay? Guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I think the only time I left the house this week is when I took the, the, the garbage out to the curb for it to be picked up. That was it. How am I making garbage without leaving the house? Where's the garbage coming from? It's like, it's like it violates you know, input output systems of, of physics. How do I only ever have garbage to put out? Where is it coming from? I don't know. I don't leave the house. <laughs> I like the cloak though. My cloak should make a comeback. I recording this. Got an expanding belly. Can't Hold up, I want to talk about that more. Cloak should make a comeback. Let's think about it. It's basically like an article of clothing that's just a portable blanket that you have with you at all times. I love blankets. Blankets feel comfortable. They make me feel at home and warm. And if you're like too warm, you let the coat, you let the cloak billow and you just look sickening like Jon Snow. And if you're cold, you wrap it around you and you feel comfortable. That's so much better and more customizable than a standard hoodie or sweatshirt. So we should bring cloaks back is what I'm saying. This shirt that fits. Or my chicken the kitchen from a snack bowl to the brim. Yeah, I know that might look bad, uh, but you're a ruffle I'm boy. Oh, what? Oh yeah, I'm a good person. I'm a gym member. Don't get She's kind of yoked though. Whoa! You're such a jerk, and suddenly he asks, Where is your homework? All my friends in panic, No, is that today? I slap mine on the desk and say, I'm gonna get an A. Plus, oh, I was that kid. I sucked. Okay, <laughs> I'm a good person. I do my homework. Model student. Literally, probably my only redeeming quality when I was a teenager because I sucked, but I did do my homework. So, yeah. Turns out I played your rice and now I'm in detention. Oh, crap. Uh, oh, crap. That was a twist. Again. Can you take out the trash? Her mind was blown right then. I did it before you asked. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, I'm a good person. I do my chores. <laughs> hold up. Hold up. Why were you vacuuming the... I mean, I love that. That's all my. That's my only issue. But why were you vacuuming the laundry in the first place? How did you even get in a situation where you used the wrong machine on the laundry when it's a machine that you're not supposed to use on the laundry in the first place? What? In the ocean. Uh, 
It's just a crap day. Or is it grandma? No, someone's changed an agent. It isn't grandpa. Other grandsons may just Why that look like you were gonna put a hit on grandpa? But I am grandma's special boy, so I'm gonna call. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, I'm a good person. I remember birthdays. For example, I don't, I'm bad. You better think of me when you're drafting up your will. Oh, oh crap. I'm hanging out with I feel like this song is a lot of Twitter. Hey, this guy's wearing a green paisley hat. I'm only familiar with the Bloods and the Crips. What's this new green gang that also wears Paisley? Do I have to be worried about them? Who are they? The Bloods, the Crips, and I don't know what a green gang would be called. The Mana Ramp, if this was Magic the Gathering. But, whatever, let's find out. I feel like this song perfectly encapsulates, like, Twitter. Because so many people on Twitter just brag about good things they're doing, and it's like... Are you actually a good person for doing it if you just did it so you could brag about it on Twitter? With I don't know. He is the coolest guy. Got 30k on Insta. Oh crap. Suit and tie. I'll tell him about how good I am, but he says, "Bro, the people who are really good don't brag about it though." What? You're saying that bragging about all the nice things you've done misses the whole point of doing nice things in the first place? And it it paradoxically invalidates the nice things you were doing and you lose all comedic points you would have gotten. A dread. I don't the crisis of character. Now please excuse me while I go delete my Twitter. Uh, oh, what's crap? Oh, crap. On the same page, baby. We were on the same page. We were just in the same book, not the same chapter. Same mother freaking page, possibly same paragraph. I get what you're putting down, bro. It's on YouTube and Spotify? Well, hopefully no one will listen to it. I love All Ones Out. There's so many amazing, talented creators on YouTube. It's just awesome. I love it. That being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed that immensely. Um, that's something that I try to figure out because it's also difficult, especially when there's somebody who has a platform. And let's be honest, most of us do to some level, even if it's just our Facebook page where we have a few hundred friends, but it's still our, in our community, right? So it's like, okay, well, I want to help with something. I have a cause. I want to do something that's good. So I should do that. And, you know, like the, the point of the song, right? If you do something just so you can brag about it to get social brownie points, you're doing it for your own self-interest. You're not doing it to be a good person, right? But at the same time, especially if you have an audience and you do something that's good, you can use your platform to promote doing something that's good. So then... You know, are you then enabling more people to do more good? Like, let's say you donated to a, a GoFundMe, right? You don't want people to know you donated to the GoFundMe because you're doing it just because you want to support. But if you then post about it and you're like, hey, I paid money into this GoFundMe, you should too, right? Does that also invalidate it? Because you're also trying to do something and help promote the cause that you gave money to by spreading awareness of it? I don't know. I haven't sussed that out. Like, does that still trigger the self-interested thing? Ultimately, does it matter? Because from a pragmatic point of view, it results in more money going to the cause, right? So does it matter? All, all these questions are relevant? I don't know. Let's go ponder these deeper philosophical questions in the comments. That being said, guys, I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. I'm Wesley. Subscribe down below for more reactions, and I'm out.